Hugh Jackson, former Browns head coach, of course, was fired. Uh, moved on. Uh, when uh, stayed in state. Right. <laughs> moved on to doing a special advisor, some coaching position with the the Bengals, and they took on the Browns. Uh, Mayfield apparently had a pretty decent game. Uh, the Browns won. Uh, first off, let's check off uh, check out uh, the the post game interactions. Everyone watches when coaches come and have a nice handshake after the game. Let's see what the uh, the interaction was between Baker Mayfield and former Browns of this season head coach right. uh, Hugh Jackson uh, had. Let's check this out. Good things could happen as you see Hugh Jackson, his former coach, going there, going over there to congratulate. Good game, good game there. Good game there, Baker. How you doing? The the pat on the head was supposed to be a homie hug. Was I it? think. I mean, you tell me. That's I, what everyone's I guess, saying. I guess I can see it where like, hey, you bring you're kinda like sunning him, like, hey, bring your head <laughs> over to my shoulder, son. I did that, huh? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> that, was a, that was a stiff arm. Usually, like, if your arm is stiff, you're keeping it this distance. Right. But, they, you know, you usually have a nice arm bend. It's easy. It's good natural, point. right? That's a good point. Um, but it, it wasn't. The love wasn't wasn't uh, reciprocated there. Right. And we will find out soon because, of course, Baker Mayfield doesn't, you know, he doesn't keep his feelings inside, right? He's a um, vocal guy. And that's right? something I appreciate about him. I hate when, as a quarterback... I feel like quarterbacks all act like robots sometimes, and I get it. You know, you you have this level that you know you're carrying this this weight, this title, and and everyone expects you to act like this mature leader mm -hmm. and don't say anything. But I like that Baker Baker Mayfield is is young. He's walking around with that chip on his shoulder. He's edgy. He's definitely that person that's just like you know what? I'm just gonna tell you how I feel. He's gonna get more season. He's probably gonna get quieter. But right now, this is exactly how I expect him. He's to being react. for real. So this is what we'll do is we'll, we'll criticize uh, guys in sports for not mm. being for real or saying, yeah, both teams played well and uh, we respect them. When they absolutely don't. Yeah, no, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to hear that. So I like honesty because we know that there's a level of competitiveness and there's a level of anger sometimes and, and people you don't like. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's hear what Baker had to say in the next video about what did go down. Do we have that? He said, good job, good game. Um, yeah, that was brief. I didn't feel like talking. Me. I don't know. Left Cleveland goes down to Cincinnati. I don't know. That's just somebody that was in our locker room asking for us to play for him and then goes to a different team. We play twice a year. Everybody can have their spin on it, but that's how I feel. No, I mean, it's just like any rivalry game. That's just how it is now. That's how I'm going to treat it every time we play him, but it's, it's nothing, you know, there's no hate. That's just how it is. That's how I'm going to treat it, and I think that's how our team should treat it, too. So apparently Baker Mayfield not happy that Hugh Jackson, after being fired right. by the Bengals, that goes down to a potential a division rival in the same state and coaches with them. Um, graphic 21, you guys, from uh, 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 for the win at USA Today, Stephen Ruiz said, in Jackson's defense, he's worked with the Bengals coach Marvin Lewis for years, and it would be ridiculous to expect him to turn down a job opportunity just to show loyalty to a team that fired him. I cannot agree with you more, Mr. Ruiz. Right. What are you supposed to do? Okay, so say so you get cut. Say Baker Mayfield is, uh, people don't like what he's doing. He gets cut from the team. And then some other team decides to pick him up. Is he supposed to say, no, no, Bengals. I don't think I should play for you guys out there because, you know, I had this loyalty to this team who didn't have loyalty to me and fired my ass right. and sent me out of town. I get it. It's He can have his emotions, but if I, I some, we talked about earlier about getting broken up with, you can be in your emotions. Right. You can say, man, I can't believe they did that to me. And then go, but that's their life. They get to do what they want. You can be in your feelings, but you have to understand someone else gets to do whatever. They, is he supposed to turn down more money? Is he supposed to turn down a paycheck? Would you? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Honestly, like, I, this is it, crazy. A transfer does not equal a fire. Like, it's not the same thing. He was transferred, okay? And, and I feel like you can't stay loyal. Um, you can't say, I'm sorry, you can't stay loyal to a team that got you unemployed. The transfer. The transfer, okay? <laughs> it's on. it's very awkward. It's a nice way. You can't, don't get in the way of anyone's money. And this is not to say that what Baker said, I, I'm completely against it. For whatever we know, we don't know the relationship that happened inside the locker room that he had with you. And it's one of those things where it's, it's between them, mm -hmm. right? So he, we also can't expect for Baker to, you know, be like this gracious person and owe all his success to to Hugh because he's been doing 
doing a lot better without him. I'm, I was just going to say, he's he won the game. Lot, and that's not usually what happens. True. That's not usually what happens. You don't have, when the veterans leave or when, you know, the coaches or, or your coordinator leaves, mm -hmm. you don't have, like, or anybody. When someone leaves and you're the rookie, you are, you're expected to fail. You have all the odds against you. Your you structure's not leadership. there that apparently was put in place to help you succeed. Exactly. And now your you're foundation left on your is gone. Yeah, absolutely. And, and he's doing fine. Him. He's beyond fine, actually. It's going to be okay. I mean, we'll reserve how you feel about his looks later. But he said he's beyond fine. <laughs> no, no, no. Not, that, was said, not that was said with not, some like. Not beyond fine. That was from you the get what gut, I mean? Man. He's doing very good. <laughs> and not his, he's it's a, okay. He's a good looking guy. But I'm saying he was doing beyond. He's doing it's beyond okay. Good. You're not going to get dumped over your opinions about his looks. It's okay. Uh, so <laughs> let us know what you guys think. Um, are you on Team Baker, Team Hugh? Team Baker. Um, are you also on Team Dwight? Or are you uh, anti? Um, all that. Do you guys want full TYT episodes? Yeah! So download YouTube TV and get a seven day free week trial.